OctoPrint is open source software that gives you an easy way to monitor and control your printer from your computer. With its robust plugin structure, you can expand its functionality so you can monitor and control your printer from anywhere, get added peace of mind with AI failure detection, and much more. And in this video, I'm going to show you five ways Obico for OctoPrint can enhance your 3D printing experience. Let's get started. Obico, formerly the Spaghetti Detective, is an open source software that streamlines your 3D printing workflow, gives you the ability to monitor and control your printer from anywhere, and gives you added peace of mind with AI failure detection. Obico now works for 3D printers with Clipper firmware running Fluid or Mainsail, but in this video, we will just be focusing on Obico for OctoPrint. I'm going to assume you already have OctoPrint set up and connected to your 3D printer. You'll also need to install the Obico for OctoPrint plugin. If you haven't already done that, we made a video that walks you through the whole process of setting up OctoPrint on a Raspberry Pi and installing the Obico plugin, so check that out, which I'll link to above. It was the first video I made, so the audio is pretty rough, so I'll also link to a blog post I wrote down below. Some of the features I'm going to go over in this video may requ require an Obico Pro plan, but most of them are available in the free plan too. And of course, you can always run your own self-hosted Obico server since it's 100% open source. First up, on our list of five ways Obico for OctoPrint improves your 3D printing experience is monitoring and controlling your 3D printer from anywhere. Obico's mobile app and web app allow you to check in on your prints on the go, whether you're at home or miles away. The Pro Plan gives you unlimited streaming at a high quality 25 frames per second. Free users still get unlimited streaming, but the frame rate is capped at five frames per second. While this isn't cinematic quality, it's usually good enough to see what's going on with your printer at any given time. The mobile app and web app offer everything you need for basic monitoring and controlling of your 3D printer, but if you ever need to access the full OctoPrint inter interface to get access to a plugin that you like to use, for example, to shut off your 3D printer, you can always access the full OctoPrint user interface with the Obico tunneling feature. Next up on our list is AI failure detection. Obico is actually the successor of the Spaghetti Detective. Many of you knew the Spaghetti Detective for its AI failure detection feature. Obico uses the same algorithm. Obico's AI failure detection uses a webcam or Raspberry Pi camera to watch for failures through a machine learning algorithm. To date, the failure detection algorithm has watched over 65 million hours of 3D printing and caught over 500,000 failures. When a failure is detected, you can get a notification through email, push notification, Slack, or however else you like. You can even configure the settings so Obi will pause your print when a failure is spotted. When a print is paused in this scenario, the nozzle will cool down, but the bed will stay warm. That way, if it was a false positive, it doesn't ruin your print. Every setup's different, but if you pay attention to three factors when setting up your camera for failure detection, you should be good to go. These factors are angle, focus, and lighting. Obi needs to be able to see your 3D printer to be able to detect failures. You'll also wanna make sure you get a good angle. A good angle means that the camera view covers most of the print volume of your printer. The extruder is not too close to the camera, otherwise it'll block a big chunk of the print volume. And the camera view does not include too much background, especially if there are things in the background that can cause confusion to the, de to the failure detection which could be a loose wire or scrap filaments. You don't need a fancy lighting setup. A normal lamp should be sufficient. Make sure it's well lit overall. If the main lamp source will be turned off at night, consider using a small lamp just over your 3D printer. Next, you'll wanna eliminate backlight. Backlight is arguably the most common adverse lighting problem, and it happens when the camera and the light source are positioned on opposite sides of the printer. The easiest way to solve it is move the camera and the light to the same side of the printer and the backlight should be eliminated. You also wanna to try to minimize shadows as much as possible. It's hard to completely eliminate shadows from the entire print volume, but try to minimize them as best you can. This will improve your experience when watching the stream on the Obico app, as well as the AI failure detection. You also wanna make sure your camera is in focus. It's pretty easy to tell a good focus versus a bad focus. Next up on our list is print status notifications. It's great to have the AI failure detection algorithm 
when you can't watch your print, but it's also nice just to get alerted every once in a while about the status of your print. Obico has a full suite of print status notifications available. You can get failure detection notifications, print status updates that include a snapshot of your print, and start and finish notifications. And you can get these notifications wherever and however you like. You can get push notifications using the mobile app, but you can also configure notifications through Discord, Slack, Pushover, and Pushbullet. Print status notifications are unlimited for both free and pro plans. Next is starting a print remotely from anywhere. With the Obico Pro Plan, you can upload G-Code to the Obico app and kick off prints from anywhere. This is great if you're frequently away from home or you want to maximize productivity and get as many prints done as possible. Last up on our list is sharing your printer's live stream with your friends. Personally, I love watching my printer's live stream. Sometimes I just check in on the print for a second, but I also just like to watch the print and even after printing for years, it's still pretty mesmerizing. So it can also be great to share the print's live stream with my friends who 3D print and also don't 3D print. It's as easy as enabling a link and sharing it with my friends. Well, that's it for our list of five ways Obico for Octoprint can improve your 3D printing experience. We've really just scraped the surface of everything you can do with Obico, so be sure to check it out. And if there's a feature that you really like and maybe I missed it, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified about future videos. Thanks for watching.